Alright guys, we're here at my dad's old work in Elm Grove, um, over in Rochester, most people know it as Kodak, the dead company. Hopefully we find a good spot out here to do our speed runs in. Today we're going to be testing out pretty much the same configuration as last time that we got 40, 40 4.2 miles per hour but with our newer Genix batteries and uh, we'll use the handy dandy uh, straps that they gave us see if we got some signals signal thinking about it We got a signal. Beautiful. Alright. Get my phone for the other camera. Lauren's gonna help me a little. Right, babe. Four boy RC TPO2 challenge. This run is uh, stock everything minus the uh, um, actually this stock everything minus the 3S battery and our power plant, which are the Surpass Hobby 540 2845 motor 540F, and then the, uh, our generic 80 amp ESC. We're gonna be testing out these newer Genex batteries we got. 2450 C's. There you go, babe. Warren's gonna be filming this. Starting our upgrades for phase two. Getting our, making sure the trim works. Now we did put on um, some metal hexes because I didn't like the plastic ones, but but I got a feeling this parking lot's gonna be plenty big enough to get her to max speed. Just making sure I got a level. Area. So, all right, here we go. Woo! Whoa! <laughs> one more try. Now, this battery was the one we did the test run with in the bench run. So, all right, here we come. All right, we got it maxed. I love this thing. All right. Let's see what we got, babe. Cross your fingers. We're shooting for 45. 41.4. All right. It's possible we took enough juice out of that. So, 41.4. We're gonna swap swap out with a fresh battery and see if we get a better time on that. Now the 42 that we got. Yeah, you got it. Perfect. So, 42 that we got last, 44.2 we got last, was with uh, the uh, WL Toys battery. Um, is a 1300 mAh 25C. So, I'm hoping a fresh. I'm hoping that I drained enough of that other one. That this is. That's why. So. We're not going to even reset it. 
doesn't even make sense to. Again, we're learning here. We're learning. So I think Batman's going to sit this one out. That's remember the eight for a dollar. Oh. I got one Batman because he was a little bigger, and I thought it would fit better, and he does. So, <laughs> flea market finds. Yeah, All right. Now we're gonna here. Run two. Seems a little faster. What? I know. All right, here we go. What was that? Let's go find that out. That's probably our GPS. Yep. Sure enough, it was. <laughs> Try that again. It was faster too. It was totally faster. I could feel it. Uh, all right, one more time. One more time. Again, poor boy RC, speed run challenge, TTO with our Genix 2400. Now we're going to gear this up right after this, so yeah, it's definitely got more punch now. Hopefully I get more speed out of it. I know, I know, I know. All right, we lost the body. But now we can see the GPS easier. You were pretty, it didn't, go any didn't go any faster? All right, that's a little disappointing. Not sure what I'm doing different. 44, 41.4, so we went backwards, guys. One more quick. She is fast. I can't even keep it on the road. So we'll test the tires next time. Oh, I didn't even look at my trim. No, that's okay. Whoa. Ha! I'm glad you did. I'm wondering, is this thing even working? Yeah, it is. 41.4. Okay. So that's our max. That's something to note. So now we're going to gear it up. It's a little recap of uh, after uh, looking at the footage and starting another video for the upgrade path on this. I kind of want to talk about the, um, in the video I, I seemed disappointed, but I wasn't really, I, I honestly didn't take factor in the steel chassis and the extra weight of the Gorilla Glue. Um, so I added a considerable amount of weight to this, and that's okay. You guys got to remember, you guys are running this motor. Is uh, not the 
mistake is it's the 540, um, which is a 28 series. It's not even a 36 series. So I got a new motor coming, and this is going to have plenty of my, my power plant's going to have plenty of juice to go. So with the upgrades that I got, you'll see in the next video, um, she's going to scream. Um, I got to do, see that play? I got to fix that. Got to do all that stuff all at once. This is going to be a stripped down video and a total upgrade. So, but you're going to see in this video my my last run with this. Um, the speed was lower than my 44.2, so I didn't get any records. I didn't go any further. But um, it's a baseline, so now I know once I do the ESC upgrade, I'll see what my increase is. Once I do. You know, you get, you get my point. The, each upgrade, I, I'll now see my improvement from the baseline I had to have it. Um, I really, that's the only thing that was added was I added a ton of weight. So, yeah, it's slower. Um, it's kind of expected. And it's a new location, so a lot of gravel there. I'm not sure I'm going back or not. Um, I do like the idea of doing it in Kodak Park. Um, that's kind of cool. Well, I, whatever it is now. It's <laughs> whatever. Anyways. Um, anyways, I'll... Uh, get on with it so you guys will see right after this i'll cut right over and you'll see the the speed run um we did pretty good <laughs> lord had dodge it was oh you know <laughs> steel toe shoes my friends you're right brian man i'm gonna start wearing my boots man this is this this is a real deal now i don't need no accidents better safe than sorry right gotta have your safety means so anyways i'll see you when i see you um and hopefully you'll enjoy my little speed run um it was a good shakedown. It was, it was a good all the way around. So don't, if I sound any bit disappointed, I'm not. I wasn't thinking. I'm just in the moment, you know, that kind of deal. So um, I'm looking forward to all of it. We'll, I'll see you when I see you.